Hello Jibs, this is Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're looking at these uh, Bacchus 6mm uh, British Infantry from World War II. Uh, they're for my own uh, wargaming project uh, in Normandy 1944. So from the landings uh, through to you know the Falaise pocket uh, or afterwards. So anyway we're talking June to end of August roughly. Uh, nice little figures. Uh, if you've had Bacchus figures before, they've usually, you know, little blokes with big heads. Um, I believe they've probably done these in a, a less big headed style <laughs> because um, they obviously to get them into into the, the right size, uh, the, the right size uh, to the vehicles that they do. Sorry, um, not getting much sleep at the moment. Uh, very nice figures to paint up. I've left mold lines on them because they're very fragile that's the only thing i'd say is i don't know about the rest of the range these guys they're british so they've got the canvas anklet boots on um, and and that is obviously you don't see buckles and stuff but obviously they're brought in at the the boots area uh, the ankle area and they can be fragile so be careful because i've had some i've had some miscasts which is unfortunate and some of them I've just got one leg and boot connected and the other one's missing a very tiny bit and I had these two here as you can see one in the middle completely gone there's been strips of four and this guy at the end here as you can see is uh, very much shrunken around the head uh, he's usable just um, but that was unfortunate uh, and I had several probably two or three that um, had uh, like the ankles were, were uh, as I say, one ankle would be we'd be missing, and I had to put a bit of super glue on just to build it up. Um, apart from that, nice, nice style of sculpt. Uh, you don't have to worry normally about mold lines on these anyway. Nobody's going to see them, uh, and with the Brits at this scale, you know, they just say it's helmet scrim. Uh, you can easily, and I would do if, if Bacchus ever bring a. Uh, an early war range out of vehicles you just use these I don't see why you uh, well apart from like boys anti-tank gun and stuff which is anti-tank rifle uh, you know you don't need a, a lot of difference particularly obviously they carried the respirator stroke gas mask on the chest most of the time um, but at this scale once you've got a rifle across your ch guys chest on and carrying a rifle you are not going to see it so you know, if they if they do bring like early war vehicles out, I can't see why you couldn't use these little guys. Uh, as I say, I'll show you those. I'm not particularly, uh, um, you know, I bought these myself, so I'll always tell it like it is, even if I've been given stuff. Uh, as I say, the poses are nice. It's just a shame they seem to have uh, missed the quality control. So, uh, and I'll, but I would still buy more. Uh, as I say, they're just. They're, I like the vehicles and I like the uh, the figures. So um, that says enough. Uh, if I had a lot more miscasts on another order, though, they'd be knowing about it. Right. Uh, what have we got? So I paint them like this on the strip. I'm sorry if you can hear Arch patting around. He's, as you know, he's 13 now, and unfortunately, he's got dementia as well, has bad legs, and he tends to be pooping all over the place. That's uh, well, he's pooing all over the place as well. But that's another story which you don't probably want to know while you're eating your tea. Uh, so these are the, for my six pounder gun. As I say, lovely little, lo lovely little casts, uh, sculpts. Yes, yeah, I was gonna say it's a cast that uh, let them down. But the, uh, the the sculpts themselves, lovely. Whoever does a sculpt in uh, full marks, very nice. Just so, again, I just uh, give a base coat and one brighter highlight. Uh, I do actually use English uniform on these uh, but obviously I don't use a darker colour, I actually base them in, uh, put a black base coat down first, dry brush them with white and then uh, and then paint my English uniform on and then I just put the white into the uh, into the English uniform, it depends what I've, just to be honest with you, whatever I've got in my palette with the English uniform, just to lighten it up and uh, and just paste one highlight in, the, in areas like the elbows and stuff. Uh, darker green you could go darker than that but again six mil so you don't want to make them too dark on the helmets uh, and the although they don't look it the I use the same color on the for the base of the whatever webbing that they've got on and then I use a, a lighter color on the actual 
webbing. He's got a slight highlight there because I've probably had a, a scratch some paint off and I've had to retouch it up. So the on 30mm bases, I've not gone mad with these, you know, I like to put my little larger trees on and things. I just thought because these are in like uh they're gonna be as an infantry company, infantry platoon sections, um uh, I would leave the bases fairly easy to see if that makes sense. So just the odd uh, mortar round. We got as the, they used to call it the British Army back in not, not now but back in the day in, in World War Two, they call it uh, you, you get a stonking. Um, so you know you get caught in the a barrage of mortars or, or artillery. So these could be near Bavefa or or eighty one. Well, it's not eighty one millimeter. It could be as it's Germany. Eighty one We'll call them eighty one millimeter mortars anyway. So. Well, that's all I've done. I've put some meadow flowers with some dots of painting, and there's three coats of uh, three coats of uh, highlights on the uh, ground cover. The ground cover's that very fine scatter you get from woodland seedlings. So I don't like to use uh, my um, tuft maker to to make tufts or to grass over because I think these guys would be buried in it really. I do understand that, yeah, they were going through cornfields, which were sometimes as high as them, and uncut meadows and all that, but obviously we've got to see them on the tabletop, so uh, that's what I use. Uh, and then I use a, a black-brown uh, to go around the edges of the grass. It just lifts the grass very slightly from the rest of the base, and the base is just sand. But again, lovely, lovely little poses. Uh, these would be one one strip uh, you can obviously mix them all up I just stuck them down as a as they were on the strip use some orange brown on the rifles after a, black, a dark brown base coat and I use shadow flesh uh, for the tiny bits of faces and hands you can see and I then use my sunny skin tone uh, just to give that a really bright look because again we're talking six millimeter high here not really much to, sh to show you that was my first attempt at the grass it's a bit it's a bit uh, like a winter winter grass really but never mind i wasn't going to completely repaint it and you get the two lots of poses in the bag by the look of it apart from the command section which is obviously a officer and a signaller uh, as in radio and I believe there might be a sergeant there. No, I wasn't going to go and try and paint sergeant stripes on him or corporal stripes. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can see them. You know what I mean? They're, obviously, if you're on a green base, you know, looking down, <laughs> green helmets, maybe not the brightest thing to have done, Gav, but uh, I didn't want to make them all green bases. I wanted something to... And I still might put some, because I've got some uh, uh, Piet's, and brain guns to to do and two inch mortars and I might do them maybe behind some they're, they're already stuck down I've just got obviously they're even more simpler to paint really so I may put some walls or some form of other stuff on there I just put the odd shrub to, you know like some larger bushes I haven't got many of these to do then, and as I say, for these guys here, I think I've got another one or two strips of, uh, of the six pounder anti tank guns because I'm not sure if I've got three or four. I said I hadn't got my motorbike, well, I don't know why I was so obsessed with that, but I'd got like a signal as on a motorbike, and uh, he uh, was in the bag, I just didn't see him at the time. So maybe I should be entering the motorcycle group build next time with that, and unfortunately, there's not much to build on it. Uh, just to show the houses again quickly, uh, I've run into a slight problem. Here is my terraced housing. I put drain pipes in, <laughs> I don't know why, but I did, uh, and some wire across the thing to represent the drain pipes as well. Uh, don't worry about these, these are walls uh, to wall off the, the area, and that's a big wall. You can see, I've tried to, it is loose, I've just thrown it all on here to keep it all in one place. I tried to put bricks on. Uh, the blue, the, my blue foam is too thick. I haven't got anything, one of these fancy cutters to, to, to make it wafer thin. Uh, so I tried to, to, you know, groove, try and get in this, this mounting card that I happen to have. And I tried to cut, 
you know, brick shapes, which was which was going nowhere. I didn't want to say, oh, well, it's a painted wall, you know, with, with plaster on because none of the houses have got any on. So uh, I've decided with this stuff, I've um, ordered, a, it's about 550 delivered from eBay, just one sheet, it's a bit expensive, but I've ordered some two, there are engaged bricks, same type of stuff as this uh, plastic roof sheet. So I will, um, I'll have that and I'll do that on the walls. And although it's a fiver, uh, when, you, when you're talking about this thick for a wall and put it on the side, you know, both sides, it's 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 only I'm going to be using strips of it over a you know a couple of three streets worth hopefully. Um, I've still got a filling around the the chimney pots, but that's I'm going to put the obviously bits use some card just to put some doors on the windows. Like I said before, I'm probably just going to paint and then leave you know as a um, and just just paint frames in them type of thing. So. Uh, yeah, so so that that was a shame, really. I, I did try, but and it was taking ages, uh, and it just wasn't working for me. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I could also use it on for things like like card buildings rather than rather than blue phone buildings as well, if I want to. Um, we'll see how that goes. If it if it goes right, I might buy another sheet of some other type of brick. Uh, I definitely get some more some more maybe roof tile type stuff. So yeah, the beat goes on as they say. Uh, we've I've give these a, a varnish tomorrow, along with uh, some other stuff I've got to do, uh, and then it's on to the next lot. But as I say, they're all mounted and uh, they've just got to be primed. I'm just using this. I don't use it very often, apart from the touch up, really. But I, I've got uh, surface primer. It's actually light grey. So if it if it was shown it wasn't black, because if it was black, I'd have uh, I, I'd have you know, just uh, um, uh, I could have done it without having to put that on and then black on and then white uh, white over the top. Uh, I just haven't got any. I have got black, but it's not really very good for the. It's it's more for plastic rather than metal. So um, right. So thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. I have to keep rushing these vids a lot at the moment, just because I say it's trying to find a quiet time. I don't have a quiet time at the moment because the poor, poor old Archie, uh, he's he's not particularly with it, and yeah, it's too good to look after him as best we can. So, thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, thoroughly, as I say, yeah, I've had some miscasts with these, but I would still, I would still be buying more for off them. I th they're just the right size for me. I like them, and I like this. I mean, these artillery guys. I, I was well impressed with those when I saw them. Well, artillery six pounders. They are infantrymen. But uh, yeah, you can see what I mean. Very going to the ankle. You can see I painted the ankle uh, gaiters there in green, uh, and that's what's sometimes missing on some of the legs. I've had not loads, as I say. There was two, three. I don't know. And then those ones. I mean, I don't know what the others are going to be like when I pick them out of the bag. But uh, I hope that's the only any bad ones I ended up with. So thank you very much. Uh, we now wait for some, obviously the, the infantry and I've got Germans to do as well, so the infantry and the few vehicles I've got will carry on. Uh, buildings, I don't, I don't want to start another type of buildings until I've got this one done, because again we're getting loads of unfinished bits and pieces everywhere. So once this has been done, I don't want to paint it until I've, I'll, I'll stick those plastic bricks on, obviously before I glue it all together. Um, and then I can I can do it all in one go then. So uh, right, that's it. So there'll be another six mil update, probably in a few days' time. I've got a update on HMS Bristol, the one in seven hundred resin ship. Um, I've ended up carving bits off her and doing. I knew I end up, I'd end up doing that. Uh, bits off her. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a Space Marine at the moment, which you'd, no point showing you till he's done. Try another shiny blue at metallic again. Got a tiger tank to show you with the crew painted. Uh, got to make a base for him at some stage, but it'll be as and when. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I've got some Bavarians to show you as well. Uh, I've got the base more or less done for my Phil R miniatures first figure. Uh, so there should be hopefully a, a reveal for him coming up 
I doubt it'll be the weekend. It'll probably be more like Wednesday, Thursday next week, but he'll be up for a reveal. And I am thinking of doing the other one, painting bits on camera, because uh, uh, one of my subscribers, Chris, had asked for a, uh, a bit of a, not tutorial, I suppose, but just see how I was painting stuff. I take it, Chris, you mean that obviously the same scale as I think you could put it down on, on the other Philar figure. So I might do that in bits, uh, you know, literally like five, ten minute videos, um, just showing uh, you know the, what the colours I'm using and then how I've done something. If anyone's interested, of course you could always have some six mil. They're a lot easier to, uh, <laughs> to do a tutorial on painting six mil. Oh, and by the way, these weren't weren't done with uh, with uh, any magnification other than my reading glasses. So don't get put off by it, you know, because uh, then they're fairly straightforward to do. You know, then they're not too bad at all. So uh, thank you very much. Look after yourselves and we'll catch each other soon on another video.